Hey up guys, it's Charlie and welcome to a new video. Today I am coming to you with my July favourites. Now, I, to me, the list of favourites that I have is not very large. Um, and that's because I haven't really been doing lots of um, going out or wearing things other than my work uniform too much this month. But these are the things that I've been loving this month. So we'll just jump straight into it. First up, we have makeup. And I have three products four technically and so yeah my first product is actually a makeup brush this makeup brush is a Mary Kay brush 3 um, it's like a rough applicator blending kind of eyeshadow brush but I've been using this to apply all my eyeshadow uh, this month I find it's a really good applicator it got, gets um, the coverage you need when you're doing an eyeshadow and it just puts it on there and also it helps to blend and then you've got all it's like a applicator and blender in one to me and I just really love this brush I'm not really sure why I just picked it up and decided I wanted to use it for it my eyeshadow one day and it just turned out so well I've just been really loving the results that it gives out so yeah next I have this Rimmel London lasting finish 25 hour nude in the shade light porcelain this is my liquid foundation. I've had this liquid foundation for a long time, but I um, just picked it up and decided I wanted to use it for work because it gives me more coverage and also protects my skin a lot more from the oily substances around in the air when I'm at work. But this has been a really good coverage, a really good feel on my skin, and I always like this liquid one because um, I don't like liquid ones that are really thick on my skin. I don't know, it just makes me feel really gross um, but this one has been so light even when I put like a lot on to be able to get a good coverage and I've just been really enjoying it this month next I have my L'Oreal Paris in the shade 600 nude vibrato and it's like a lip a glossy lipstick kind of color um, it's a really smooth application it is a little thick on my lips, like I said in a review that I did of it, but um, I actually really enjoy this. It's a nice nude colour, and it just, because it's glossy, it adds a nice glossy tone to your lips as well, which is a plus. Next is this designer brand palette, which I got in a magazine a, a while, probably about a year ago, and I never opened it until the end of last year, because it had all of these bright colours and when I have my bright coloured hair I'd like to pair it like I guess like to have the same eyeshadow because it would just be fun and then I'd put sparkles on top. Um, but I have been loving this palette more specifically these two colours right here. These two colours have been my life as you can tell because there's like a hole in it. Um, I'm None of these colours actually have names and I'm really sad about that. But I'm running out of my base my base one and so um, I'm going to go shopping soon once I get paid and so I'm gonna go looking for a palette that's as good at least has those colors I'm sure I can find some nude colors like this but these are just like the most perfect bronzy nude colors that you could ask for um, and I just really love them so much they're like a really bronzy caramel kind of toned um, shades and so I really think this palette is really good it's probably it's not really upmarket palette it's came in like a dolly magazine in Australia um, it's not a very upmarket brand but it's just a really good palette like the pigment of the eyeshadow is so good and the coverage that it puts out when you put it on your eye is also really good and it's not one of those sometimes you can get eyeshadows and the pigments just crap but these ones are really good but on to clothing. I'm going to start with the shoes in the clothing section because I only got one. These, They are these kind of Roman sandals which I got from Debnams in Brighton. Um, they're, as you see, they're like a gold colour. They're really, really pretty and I love them on. I probably got these a couple weeks ago. And they're just really nice. They're a nice little sandal to wear in the summer. And I just think they're really cute and you can pair them with a lot of different outfits as well as pair them with some jeans. So they're a really good 
pair of shoes to have in your repertoire, I think. Next is this pair of star pajama shorts. Well, three quarter length pants. These are really baggy and comfy pajama pants because I have been closing at work. I love to wear pajama pants when I'm at home and just re laying in bed, like recovering from going to bed at like three in the morning. Um, but these are just been so soft and so comfy and I've just been loving them so much this month. Um, I think I got them from Target when I was in Australia. Yeah, Target. And they're so comfy. And the final thing for the clothing section is this really um, nice big jumper from H&M Basics. Um, and it's a sweat jumper and it comes to about mid thigh. Um, and it's just really comfy. Originally when I got this it was more to like wear out and about and stuff like that because when I bought it I was into wearing like tights and like shorts and stuff like that with boots and stuff and I thought it would be a really nice combo. I still enjoy wearing that in the winter months but uh, this has become more of a lounge around the house jumper and it's just really comfy and H&M is just a babe because they make really really good clothes. So next is food. I have two but I only have one thing to show for it. First is this Trek um, Cocoa Oat Protein Flapjack. This protein flapjack is 100% vegan. There is nothing about it that... I called it cocoa, didn't I? It's cocoa. Um, there's nothing about it that has any air. It has no dairy products, no animal products. And it's literally the best vegan bar I've probably eaten in my life. Actually, that's not true. Naked bars are also vegan, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. But I never expected vegan chocolate to taste so good. And on the top, there's like a thick layer of vegan, well not thick, it's like probably about that much. There's a layer of vegan chocolate on the top and it's just so delicious and I just can't get over how good this bar is. This is literally the last one that I have left and I have to say it's my favourite. They have coconut ones and stuff like that but I'm just not a big fan of coconut. So this is, this is a really good bar. And the next thing in food, I don't actually have the packaging left. Um, I went to a health food store and I got some quinoa chips. And they're literally like the best chips in the world. And I got the spicy chips and they were so good. Um, they were actually spicy for once, like chips that were actually decently spiced. And they just tasted so good and I just love them so much. Music! So this month I've been listening to Bring Me The Horizon again, like non-stop. Um, but I always love Bring Horizon. Bring Horizon is always in my repertoire. But this month they've just been my music bay. I just, I just love them so much. Mm. Especially that's the spirit. That's the spirit. This month has been a really good album to listen to, and I've just been. It's on replay, and then I've been actually replaying Suicide Season because I also love that album as well. And yeah. Bring Rising is good. If you don't listen to them, please head over and listen to them right now. And also, Panic at the Disco's Death of a Bachelor. That album I use to work out to. It's just a really motivational kind of album to work out to. So, um, I also really love the songs and the meanings behind them as well. And Panic at the Disco is just a babe as well. The final section is the other section. And I have about three things to show you. The first up is this big old black bag from Sports Girl that I got in Australia and this has been my work bag. This bag is a really decent size to be able to put everything in that I need to um, and it's really, it's like a long, it's got a long handle which is helpful when I have to hang it on the, the clothes, is it like, what is it, those things with the wall, the wall hanger clothes thing where you hang like bags and hoodies on they have one of them in the staff room and that's where you hang your bag and so it's really helpful to have this because then I can if I mine gets caught behind other people's bags and stuff like that I can still reach in and grab what I need to from it for my break or anything else. Next is this really cute pink pencil case from Typo. 
which I bought when I went shopping with my best friend Maddie when we went for a shopping spree before I left to buy Christmas presents and stuff like that. Um, this colour combination is just my life. I love this colour combination with this mint green kind of colour and this really pale baby pink pastel kind of colour. And I really just love the artwork. I've been using it this month because I've been doing like college assignments and stuff like that. Well not assignments, I have summer assignments for college. And this has just been my pencil case. This is going to be my college pencil case. But don't worry, um, when I get closer to college time I will do college essentials. I'll do like a whole college series kind of thing for you guys if you would like. So let me know down below if you would enjoy that. And my final thing in my favourites is this pink bag. I'm not sure if I've brought it into a favourites before, but this bag has just been really good for when I'm just going out. Because it looks really small, but inside it's really spacious. I can fit my wallet, um, my glasses, my phone, and then if I have a jumper I can put it back in here as well. It's actually really spacious and I really love this bag as well. So guys, that's all for my July favourites. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, hopefully all the videos that I have planned for next week will go through. They're just dependent on appointments and when I have work and when I can go shopping because I want to go get some more stuff. Um, mostly some clothing items. I'm not going to give too much away about it because I would like to do a haul for you. I will separate it so if I do buy makeup that will go into a super drug haul because super drug is the bomb. And um... And then I'll put everything else in a myth hole. Anyways guys, I love you all and I will see you next week on Tuesday.